Here's the situation. You have monthly historical sales. What you need is a way to get a moving average from the last completed month. Let's take a look at this example. Here I have monthly header information for 24 months or 24 columns. I have some columns hidden here just to save space. The last month with information in it is February 2014. So ideally, or what I'm trying to get to, is a three month moving average starting from the last completed month. So I want these three months to be averaged. The answer you can see down here is 2,333. Now when I fill in information for March, I want it automatically to adjust to get the last three months. I always want it to get the last three months. I want it to move along. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the average offset combo. Come up here, hit the function button so you can see how I fill out the offset formula. The reference or the base is going to be right here. I'm not going to hit F4 to lock it because I want that to move as I drag the formula down. The rows, the number of rows up or down I want to move, I don't, so that can stay blank. Columns. Now this is how I'm going to find the last filled out column. And I'm going to do that by using count. Count, and I'm going to highlight this entire range of 24. It's only going to count the number of columns with something in it. So even though this is a range of 24, the answer is 14 because only 14 columns have information in them. And if I leave it at this, what's going to happen with the offset is the offset is going to start its calculation here, which I don't want. So now I need to come back the length of my moving average. Now I can type just simply the number 3 here if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that. I want to use a cell reference and lock it by hitting F4 so it doesn't move when I drag the formula. To make it easy if I end up deciding I needed to change that to 4 months or whatever. The answer is 11. So now it's going to move from the base over to the right 11 columns, which is going to be December 13th. The height, this is how tall you want it to be, the number of rows that you want to apply the formula to. Well, I want to stay in the same row, so I can leave that blank. The width, this is how wide should it apply. It's going to apply to the length of the moving average, so I come back up here again, hit F4 to lock it in place. Let me pull this up a little bit so I can hit OK. And there we go, 2333. Three, three. Now, when I come in here and I fill in March, you see how it adjusted. We come over here to check it by highlighting the last three, come down here and see that's 2400. It's working. And if I ever needed to change this, like I said earlier, if I wanted a four month, I could just change the number there and it'll change accordingly throughout. Let me show you how I did that. And that is a way to solve this need.